guys, good morning and happy new year 2022. Currently, I am in a cottage. I think this area is called Lopi. So this is like 75 km away from Helsinki. So we drove here yesterday and yeah, we just spent our evening going to sauna and catching up with the family members and then slept. Just had our breakfast and I'm about to go out to explore the area, you know, like just go for a little walk and I thought that I'm gonna bring you along as well. Let's go. Okay, so the temperature today is like negative seven but I'm not sure if I'm wearing enough because I only have one layer of the jeans here there is no demo I guess we just have to make a quick loop and come back here well, here's the cottage and it's like really in the middle of nowhere and there is the log cabin and this is where you get the um, these logs that you put in a sauna. Let's have a look. Wow! This place is full of really tall Christmas trees. Let me show you. Mm. No one is sitting here. But the porch there is too small. Oh, that's a sauna porch. Yeah. We are actually gonna go find a lake or a pond because I think the cottage that we are currently in is like the center point for hunting and also fishing so there is also like a pond around here so that's where we're gonna go find and we're gonna come back to the cottage We took like five steps from our cabin We are already here at the pond isn't it really quick? Yeah. I wouldn't know that it is a pond. It just looked like a patch of snow to me. I guess I now have more confidence to walk on a frozen sea or frozen lake because it looks like it's really hard to dig, dig a hole on the ice so there is not that much chance that the ice would just crack and I would fall into the water unless it is quite warm I'm actually on a tiny hill that is like on the other side of the pond and the snow is really really deep so my feet is kind of like stuck in the snow right now <laughs> and I guess if I'm not moving at all probably it will get frozen Hi. Hi. 
สใหญ่ค่ะบ๊ายบาย So this is the next day, and we are now just going for a casual walk. Well, the weather is so nice. It's a little bit snowy, and it also is quite sunny. And the snow is still like intact, so it's really good to walk around. And you will hear that the, the snow is still really crisp. So whenever crisp. you, huh? Crisp. The snow is still a little bit crunchy. So whenever you walk on it, you will hear this noise, like the crunchy noise. Well. There are Leo's relatives right in front of us, so we didn't plan it, but we just happen to see them right now because it's such a tiny location. How are you liking the sun? It's blinding. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Need my sunglasses. <laughs> Me too. This is really blinding light. But I'm not complaining. Mm. I think those are silos. So I guess this is like a farm, farming area. Welcome. <laughs> Bless you. Well, the original plan for us is to go to the spa in Turuko, but then because of all these Titan restrictions, they have to um, cancel our spa date. So we have to like uh, move it to later. So it's gonna be in February. So instead of that, we are coming to the cottage. And I'm pretty happy that we came to the cabin instead of going to the spa because now we have more time with the family and. The scenery is just so so beautiful. I'm here by the entrance of this trail. This looks so alluring because it's like really sunny compared to other parts of this trail. Look at this. So I really want to go in there, but the snow is pretty deep, so I have to like make way to go in there. And then there's a bunny footprint. So if you have never seen a bunny footprint, let me show it to you. At the top, that's the front, and then at the bottom, there are two two legs footprint as well. So yeah, total four. But it's really really cute. And this is my feet, and I'm trying to make way for my hubby because his shoes are so bad. Yeah. Oh, so sunny. So we are now heading back towards the cottage. This looks like just a path down to that uh, field. So probably in the summertime, this was just like a asphalt field. I think the snow is really like glistening under the sunlight. And if you look at the snow quality, like really soft and light. And yeah, I just think it's extremely beautiful. doing up there? Climbing. Climbing. Amazing. <laughs> Only. Okay, it's a good got to leave cross out on the alarm. Mita. Oksani Lukunnolla. Vähän. Pääseekö nyt sitten 
tonne. Saako siitä niinku nostettu itse? Nyt on kyllä vähän vaikea asento. Ne on vaikea. Niin, mut sun jalka ei oikein yllä. No joo, jos mun... Ei se ehkä niin vörtti oo, jos siinä on jäätä voi lumen alla. Kuitenkin tossa on toi rakonen tos keskelle, et sit mun pitäis olla tällä puolella. Niin, mut mun... onks se, onkohan se tos... Kato! Istu eti alas! Istu eti alas! Jos se on liukasta. Niin. Nyt nopee tekee se mäki! Ajateltiin heittää Emelille pekkis ylös! Jee! Apua. Eikö A? Tostakin vähän vaikeaa. Se on, on se. On se ihan. On tästä ihan kiireellä, mutta on niin kuin niin Hyvä. Aa. Tuu jo. Hyvä. Tyvi menee. Ei. Ei. Shit. Oh shit. Hei, this side. Niin. Ei siinä ole mitään, mutta... Okei, okay, sit tullaan. No, Leo, ota kiinni. Slaidaa tohon. Slaidaa jo. Otetaan kirves mukaan. So we were here yesterday as well. This is like a sauna. And back here it is a pond that is frozen. So it's very convenient that you can just use the sauna and then jump down to the water. Hey guys, so this is clearly the next day. Um, we are supposed to leave this cottage around late evening. I decided that I'm gonna give you a quick tour around this cottage. Yeah, let's start with this room. And it's like a love site and both me and Leo, we are occupying this whole, whole um, love part, even though there are a couple of beds. So this is like the loft area. And as you can see, there are several beds here as well. And then that is like one good piece to hang our towels and bathrobes. If you're from abroad and you plan to rent a cottage here in Finland, then I would definitely advise you to bring your own bed sheets, towels, and also the tiny towels, like uh, hand towels for you to use in the sauna, because those are the ones that um, depends on the cottage that you're renting they might or might not provide you to begin with and then you would have to do your own groceries and like also like some spices usually in a cottage it comes with all these like pans pots and there is also a place for you to cook so I would suggest that the three main things that you will need to bring will be your bed sheets towels and food for yourself let's go down to look at the other parts of the cabin so we have such great view look at these windows and then it has all these like decoration with a ski so this is room number one and this place is full of deer or reindeer here and it's almost like a family this is like a mom children <laughs> and the big daddy there there's like a small area for the dog and if you don't have dog then it's for the children a DVD player this is the view that we have that is the room number two and a fireplace last night we used this place to grill some sausages there is another room that's where we hang the coat there is another bear look at our car it's like completely 
covered in snow we didn't move the car at all i hope we can start it I'm not gonna go outside but a lot of the things happen outside like for example there is the grill and this is where you can keep your like food and items but it's only useful in the summer and autumn what else oh a lot of mirrors and this is the sauna slash the toilet so here's the toilet and considering that the place has like four rooms like four different families but there is only one toilet which is a little bit of an inconvenient but other than that everything was fine and here is the sauna um, I use the sauna every day while I'm here so it's everybody but this is like a um, wood sauna so look And there are also two showers so you will notice that they are like um, sauna towels that you put on the bench of the sauna and then these are just like uh, bath towels so those are the things that you would really need to bring and this is like it's making so much noise but this is like a drying cabin uh, and this is the door to the outside Oof. it is snowy obviously so this is where people tend to keep their drinks during the sauna time and yeah there is no chair nearby but around that corner there is a chair and that's where you can see the grilling part but this is the view and that over there is the log house so you can grab the logs from the log house use it in the sauna and also use it in the fireplace so usually that is full of logs and yesterday we were like in the sauna and then it was so convenient because right after the sauna we just came out and then jumped into the snow probably you can't see it anymore but we were making like snow angels and just rolling around in the snow it was so nice Here, this is like the place where you can store the logs as well. What's your favorite part about this summer? Ah. <laughs> Let's try one more time. What's your favorite part about this cottage? The sauna. Sauna. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this pretty much sums up the cottage tour that I'm staying in. Um, I hope this gives you a glimpse of how a typical cottage looks like here in Finland during the winter time. Hopefully it gives you what are the things that you need to bring when you come to the cottage. By the way, look, there's like a, a fly trapped between the windows. 